Alrighty! Well, it's been a while, and for this, we'll be doing a one-shot. So, and with that, welcome to Dungeons & Dragons and Points of Light. I am Noronok, and as usual, I will be the Dungeon Master. Like I said, this is a bit of an unusual, uh, bit of an unusual thing, because, um, well, now ev everyone is uh, is currently unavailable, almost everyone else is un unavailable, and everyone's be been taking a break, so I thought, why not do a bit of a funny one-shot with this module, and I, and I shit you not, it's called Banda, B-A-N, apostrophe, N, A. You can't make this up. So, while oh, so while our uh, main adventurers were out ga the gathering uh, artifacts for the provost, or doing all sorts of uh, or, or causing all sorts of problems and solving them at the same time, there's just a small group of uh, misfits out in uh, out uh, out in another corner of, of everyone, seeking fortune and glory. And. Before and uh, before we uh, get uh, before we officially uh, start, um, I would like the two of, the two of you because originally there were going to be four people, but things got a little hectic and the uh, and the rest were able to come. So, so it's just only just going to be the two of you. So I, so if you can, would you like to describe yourself? Um, I'm Tyrell. I'm a Kalista, and I'm a cleric of the Twilight. My deity is. My query, Gary. I openly talk to them, and I don't really realize I talk to them out loud. So people usually get confused when I'm talking with my deity. But he's really there. Yeah, totally. And um, and fire. Since you're good. Uh... I'm Nephany Cawthon. From uh, Southern Braylon, served in the war, part of militia. Okay. And I got some armor. I got my spear. Uh, got your spear, spear and your everything. Oop. I guess it's technically a halberd. Either way. I'm here to do the fightings. <laughs> because it's fighting time. I'm d I just want to make a bit of a joke right there, so forgive me. No worries. No worries. We can deal with that. Yeah, and you see, and uh, and you see what appears to be a plain warforged introducing himself as Bo because he has a bow. So in the, so the last war, so there you go. Uh, Simple, descriptive. I, I like it. Uh, alongside a uh, bow is a, is a is a human uh, a woman with a blonde middle-aged woman blonde a uh, blonde uh, like light hair almost bleached hair blonde hair uh, that that goes to the base of her neck wears uh, wears like a cowboy style hat has has a bit of a uh, like a piece of wheat uh, like grinning around in her mouth it's, it's just hey there my name is, uh, my name is uh, Kevin Jones you can call me Calamity. I'm a once in the new seas. I, I, I slain spells if I want. Hence the, uh, hence the, uh, the title of my job. Once later. He is a little weird, isn't he, Kiri? Yeah, he seems weird. Just as I thought, you always agree with me, Kiri. And with that, it. And with that, we will officially begin the uh, session. Uh, the, uh, uh, the session. As you wandered the souls of the street vendors, walking the wares, you finally came upon the food stand where you are to meet your employer. Two out of place club figures are by the stand. One could, could be another elf shopping, and the other is almost assuredly three smoke sacked figures in one long coat. The teller figures seem sense in the cosmopolitan atmosphere. Uh, upon closer inspection, she is a young hot goblin, wearing false elven ears and slap dash makeup. She, do she doesn't even try to blend in at all. Her attention is focused on the wares of the soul, picking up and inspecting the fruit. But the words are addressed to you. I am Phil uh, uh, Darkon. I have need of brave explorers, willing to accompany me and my companions. 
her accent betrays that Khan is not her uh, first language. Jovio, dwarven merchant behind the stall, seems happily oblivious to any conversations going on in front of him. He buries himself with the uh, wood carving as the goblin continues. There's an island to uh, the south that's normally a blanket in vines and other growth, who dance to cut food. Jovio, there with me. I'm going to take a task on my behalf, and as promised, you will be richly rewarded. This looks an expressive ear towards you all. I'll actually with your response. Hello, um, Kiri, uh, what are we here for again? I need someone to retrieve a magical horn created by my people millennia ago. Meanwhile, you see you see the, the tall fellow in the cloak just like, uh, pointing at another fellow in, in the cloak who you're also sure is three people in one. Uh, oh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the one that, was, that seems to be with this hobgoblin has like, you know, the, the arms of a goblin. And the other, and the one that's pointing at them in return, has the scaled arm of a kobold. You know, Spider-Man's favorite pastime whenever he meets a clone. The hell is he? Uh, uh, calamity, um, a twit, uh, like, uh, moves around the, uh, the, uh, the piece of wheat in her mouth. So what can you do it then? Surely, uh, surely you can, it looks like you can, uh, you can do that yourself. And to which the Hobgoblin replies, I am, I'm, I am hiring you to, to complete this task for me. If you are uh, unsuccessful, I will take alternative options. Sounds a little harsh, but bubble comics. But what does the but what, but what does the horn do exactly? How come answers? Sans that uh, that moose uh, tell that moose uh, transcends uh, 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 the powers of Lamania into the horn. It, it can create a great bounty of food. As for the island, you. oh oh, you were saying? Ooh, I smell food, Terry. Should we get some? Did he have bananas here? Yes. Yes. It's also full of bananas. Let's try not to get all bananas, shall we? Well, according to the... According I'm throwing bananas over bananas. <laughs> well, there are songs to tell that Musa... Uh... Oh, oh. Uh, I already answered that, so, um... Uh, Clamity asks, so... Oh. Any idea why it's accessible now? Um, the hot goblin, uh, uh, replies, the, ma the manifest zone has reopened for the change of the moon, RS. The window of success is slim, and we must act now. <laughs> what the bloody hell is a, uh, is a manifest zone? The calamity asks. The hot goblin replies, a manifest zone is a place where other worlds touch everyone. A Mania's influence on the plain, uh, on island causes left a plant growth and some rare vegetation may only be found in, in such places. Oh, huh, that sounds bad. You don't want to go fix that? It's, it's supposed to be a good thing because that's where we're supposed to find uh, the horn that gives out food. I mean, that's a good thing, but isn't it bad that. Other things such here? Couldn't that bring bad things here? Uh, depends on the, on the plane that it uh, interacts with air rods, but that's a bit of a long story. <coughs> uh, that is true. Huh. So, uh, we're uh, supposed to find this horn, right? Yeah, the, uh, yep. Like, yep. So, uh, so, uh, so, 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 just to let you know, the uh, so it takes so it first takes place in the shores of uh, Bellinar. I have no clue where that is, but all right. Yeah, in the port city of Palace. I don't Mar think it matters to the character that much. Palace Maradel in Valinor. Uh, the uh, the nation of the uh, of warrior elves. Long story short. And, and since this word, they have to ask, so, are you up for the job? I mean, sounds like a fun job, doesn't it, Terry? Hey, 
Yeah, yeah I think so yeah. too. If, if Vanilla Eye offers you uh, each view sub of 250 um, gold pieces, in, uh, dark, uh, in dra Ebon Dragon Shards, another 300 gold Ooh, what's this for the return of the whore. Hmm. What amounts to payment? If you sell these, it will oh. give you about 250 gold. But in each of you, I will pay you another 300 once you return the horn. Alright, so yeah. where do we find it? Haven't I just t told you? Off to the southern shores. Where you Mysterio, uh, the oh, it's so funny, Gary. And she points to her own forehead when she says I'm talking to Terry. Ah. Uh, she, uh, she, uh, the hot cup is serious that you, uh, uh, serious with, uh, glares at you with a strange look. <laughs> so, are we all in the It looks like a really young elf, but then really small, with a giant greatsword on her back that's almost as big as her. So, are we in agreement then? I think so. What do you think, Neffy Neff? Ah, oh, sounds like it's a fine job. Should we take it? I don't see why not. Coming, uh, says, why not? I'm always a little. Uh, just, I'm just had to hold as up. As long as I get the big fresh bananas on the way, and bones, then we'll do it. Yeah, bone knots. Tell us. He has supplies to uh, put, put, put here. Do so now. Our boat makes for the coast in two hours' time. We'll be on the docks and we'll be off. Alright. Uh, what boat? I think. What color? Uh. Is it brown? Uh, all of the ships are brown. Oh, I saw a second. Please, wait, what is it? Uh, it, it, it which you, you see, like, this, like, uh, this, like, tall fellow that's, like, hobbled along. Who you're still sure it's just three goblins inside the thing points you uh, towards the way. Alright, thank you. I'll see you in two hours. Alright. <laughs> Is everybody ready to move on? I. I. Okay, go on. Alrighty, I'm gonna switch over the music to the next uh, thing. Alright, uh, just. As they're walking there, uh, Tyrell keeps skipping. <laughs> she's like a really immature kid. But in fact, she's probably around 30. Alrighty. Everybody ready? Sure. Yeah. I. The next few days are spent in a very tiny fishing boat with a little conversation, with little conversation and less privacy. The bar of uh, the dark uh, uh, catch Volar keep to themselves. The novelty of th the three goblins singing chorus about rowing a boat fell short soon after the first round. But it seems to be the only song they know is coming. They are cover bent on, re on repeating it. I I'm trying not to laugh here. I'm trying not to laugh here. If, if Eli opts to sail under the cover of night in the hopes of remaining unseen. Taking cap on the coastline during the day in the thickest of uh, in the thickest of uh, bluffs along the shore. Okay, so who's trying not to be seen? Vailai opts to sail under the cover of night. So. Oh. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, what is their stealth? Because I have a passive perception of 15 and I'm looking all around the ship just to see what I can find. Uh, nothing, that's nothing out of the ordinary. <laughs> anyway. Do I see them trying to hide up there? Nope, just. Uh, just the goblins and the hot goblins just doing the jobs. Stephanie took a really relaxed it. position, just laying back. I should. Tyrell is running all over the ship, seeing these dances he's heard of uh, during the past, and just singing all kinds of songs. Well, just he like, seems like an absolute kid. Let well, me just like stare at, uh, just like glare at you. Just thinking to herself, what the f what the hell is one man in Kyber is wrong with it? with you? Oh, that's wrong with me. Yuri really likes it when I'm happy. Esther is a mental link that 
uh, uh, I tell neck uh, between uh, them and oh, wait, me. You're, you're telepathically talking to Calamity? If you are, she's like, Yep. She looks around a little shocked. I can do this for the next hour. Wait, wait. it's like, oh, wait, wait, wait. Who's talking? What? Did, did, did anyone else hear that? Anyone? <laughs> and uh, Tyro is giggling at the uh, pole about 20 feet away. Right. Dawn is breaking as a hot goblin banks the boat on the shore of the Forgotten Island. Most of the island is densely covered in foliage, bright flowers and tangling vines, Brill the swirling tropical trees and huge mega flora. It is very easy to, to see Lemonia's super, uh, super supernatural effects on, on the life here. A sweet or more of, of fruit or uh, even- This looks like a really cool place. A sweet or more- I think you can find some bananas there. Yeah, can I- uh, can I- may I finish? Yeah, no. More nice. <laughs> no, Tyrell doesn't, I can. Um, a sweet aurora of fruit parades the air, and the sounds of the lapping waves on the shore are answered by bird calls and wa wobbling cries of unseen animals that are pitched and rise into friendly screeches. At the edge of the beach, there is a gap in the thick plants as, as, though as, as they have been pulled back as, as though a massive hand were move, moving, moving outside a curtain for reveal. As the goblin uh, tree uh, pulls the boat into the sands, uh, the ally uh, makes a note of the passageway. Here's the, uh, here's the opening uh, Earth has provided. Toss. She gestures to herself and her uh, goblin companions. We'll make a uh, camp uh, just within a uh, while you seek out uh, Musa's grove and her horn. Return the horn to me. Whatever else you find on the island, you may keep but Musa's appealing horn. Belongs to uh, Catch Fall Eye. Alright, so I get to keep all the bananas. Yes. Oh, oh Ooh, bananas! Awesome. I guess. Are you ready? Are you ready to move out? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, you make you made a headway towards the island, and with some trail trailblazing. I'd like uh, the both of you to make a uh, survival check. Ooh, survival. Never need a seven. Oof. Tyrell got an eight. <laughs> Outdone by All right. a skipping priest. <laughs> uh, Bo is going, to, is going to use an action point. Oh, well, that, no, that's Cl Clamity rolled a seven. There's no six. We all uh, rolling low. Bo a natural one. <laughs> Bo na roll a natural one. <laughs> Bo We're all rolling shit. This has a lot for well, the next We didn't uh, survive uh, here by living off the land. Unfortunately, Bo, uh, 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 like, Bo, uh, actually went you back in the wrong direction and, and you find yourself back at camp where you see the three goblins sipping towel and eating bananas. Ooh, ooh, we walked in circles. <laughs> a bowl. So, uh, um, where are we supposed to go, actually? Both what sides. Yeah, uh, both sides. Pointing his thumb over his shoulder. That way, he says, and turns around. Ooh, okay. Uh, are you sure of that? Uh, Calamity rolls a five. I, I rolled an eight again. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bo rolled a nat twenty. Well. Bo rolled a nat twenty. All right. Here, the dense jungle opens up to a uh to a sm uh, into a small clearing containing several banana trees. One in particular seems choked with vines and bright yellow flowers. The sticky, sweet smell of fruit is almost glorying here, hanging hev heavy in the air. The hot goblins sit in the shade of the tree, their backs uh, towards you. The arm is in poor condition, and they appear to be recuperating or taking a bite. Huh? Um, well, howdy! I would like you to roll either a charisma perception check or intelligence history. Um, can I do both? 
You can do one or the other. Charisma perception? Okay, a dirty 20 on history. Um, uh, Tyrell, you, you saw the format, and you notice that there's something odd about this trio of hot goblins. They don't seem to be... And, um, there's something quite amiss. You, you, you look in, and you notice that they aren't moving, and they're here. Is they look a little weird. Are, are they made of stone? No, I think they might be Gary. Yeah, because they're not moving. And their and their gear seems to be outdated, rotting. Hmm. Hey, hey, nippy nippy. I look at them. They're standing still, like statues. Statues. Yes. Hmm. Huh. So, what will you do? Do you um? I walk over and poke one of them with me halberd. As the trio is disturbed, they rise to face the living. Lines at the banana tree were wrapped around and through the rotting carcasses. Seems that the last ex expedition to the grove was not a success. All together, are they undead? Yes. Altogether, the hot goblin zombies shuffle toward at the, at the vines of the tree at the attempt to quiver and wreathe. So, um... Yeah, you roll Sold the dead. Uh... Cause I am a Twilight Cleric. Nephany... Has... Uh, a punch. Oh, sweet. <coughs> yeah, I'm good. Uh -oh. and, that uh, makes my 10 and 12. Uh, Roll 19. Okay, so 19, so give me a second. So 19, 12. Give me a second while I get everything ready up. Alright, don't worry. First thing I'm gonna do is pull the fucking dead. Also, if you die, just die next to me, okay? I can make sure you don't die. Sounds good to me. I have a uh, can for the to dying. Okay. Um, I totally forgot to practice an accent before <laughs> last night. But don't worry, you're doing just fine. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I went with the first remnant voice that came to my head with a cleric of Twilight. Um, to be great. Clamony rolled a 14 on initiative, and Bo rolled... Who? Clamony. Clamony chains, the ones later, and Bo rolled a 4. As for the rest... Uh, one of the zombies rolled a 17 on initiative. 13 for the other. And a 2. I assume that I... Yeah, and a 2. So, as for this plant looking weird... The carrier thing? Negative one initiative! How is that possible? They go last. I'm, 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 I'm just being funny. I'm, I'm being funny. So, um... One of the zombies just like... Uh, and slams on... Uh, on you, um... Uh, I have an initiative of 19. My initiative is the highest. Oh. Yeah, you go first, then. <laughs> you go first. As I start moving, I... And I just pull the bed. And my great sword on my back starts glowing. Okay, so I'm going uh, to... It's an undead, so I believe it takes extra damage. I'm not sure. Let me check. It's the only check um, turn on dead. I know, it's, when they're missing health, it becomes a d12. They need to make a wisdom saving throw. Okay, for the three of them? That's all three of them. Uh, no, it's one. It's a cantrip. Well, on the one closest to, um, uh, Nephany. 17. Ah, fuck, it's a 15 save, so they make it. Yep. Unfortunate. Uh, let's see, do I have anything else I can do? Nope. 
the zombie that uh, the zombie that you try to um, turn on dead on attacks you. Uh, I didn't. I that pulled that not turn on that. I didn't use my gun on the penalty yet. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. I take that back. Is it, is it still your turn? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna move behind the bow. Yeah, the zombie. Uh, the zombie you tried to turn on dead against uh, shadows towards you, but it's going to hit bow instead. Ouch. Uh. <laughs> And yeah, that that's unfortunately a hit. Sorry, Bo. Uh, let me get a die. And Bo takes five points damage uh, uh, as the zombie slams both his hands onto a uh, Bo. I'm not gonna back a little. Mm -hmm. That ends, uh, that ends his turn. Another must zombie uh, shambles towards uh, Nephine and attacks. Uh, I'd like to use my reaction to use the polearm master opportunity attack. It misses. So go ahead. Uh, does an 18 hit? 18 hits. Alright, 8 damage. Ugh. Uh, you you launch your um like your um your uh, your, uh, your, uh, your uh, pole arm at, at the zombie, and a bit of its armor and a bit of its flesh uh, falls down. Uh. And then uh, my halberd has a reach of ten feet, so I can do that before most things actually get into melee range. It's pretty neat. That's fucking amazing. Yeah, and then once I get Sentinel, it's like, as soon as they step in, I can boop them and stop them. And as soon as they try to leave, he can I make can them boop think, them and oh, we're stop. safe, and chop off their head. But it only works with halberds, spears, glaives, Defi and Defi quarter stabs. Not now. pikes, though. It's, it's your turn now. My turn? Yes. Wait, isn't uh, it Calamity's Oh, yes. Yes, that's <laughs> All done. Yeah. Uh, all the day in his at, in his cast, uh, again. Ray Frost at, uh, at the zombie. And okay, so one. And that's a hit towards the uh, zombie that um, uh, that Nephine hits. Or okay, Firebolt does a T10 for two points of damage. Cool. Alrighty. Now it's your turn, Nephine. Alright, I'm gonna hit it with my halberd. Okay, uh, what are you attack? Uh, 26. Who did that? 20, 26. Uh, two hits the crit, right? 26. That's a critical hit, yes. Alright. Done with the die damage. Done with the die damage. Uh, 16 damage. Yeah, you basically like spill his guts, but still um stand up shambling about. Uh, I'd like to use my bonus action to boop it with the other end of my stick. Okay, make it another attack. Uh that's a nine. That hits. Bear. Woo! D4. Six damage. <laughs> uh six damage. Are uh, you sure you uh, uh when you use a uh, bo a bonus attack with uh, with a offhand attack, you don't add your strength modifier. Just thought I would point that out. So, uh, the bonus attack from Polar Master does six damage. You say? Yep. Okay. Ugh, you managed to like dislocate part of his, uh, part of his uh, jaw with the with the pummel of your um halberd. It's barely holding together. Oh, oh, nice job, Nephi Nephi. Yeah, it is now a bow's turn. Um, he he takes a step back, aims his bow. And fires at the uh, uh, oh. zombie that uh, that's barely alive. Uh, that well, well, lack of a better term. Hits. And, Not the and, one that's literally in front and of him. And the bow lands uh, directly in its eye socket, and and it comes to the ground. Oh well. Uh, my question is, why not shoot the one directly in front of him that attacked him? Disadvantage. Hmm. All right. Wait. Guess I gotta kill that trucker. And that answers uh, that ends uh, his turn. 
the one that Mike Sambi is going to attack you, uh, Tyriel. Uh, sh uh, uh, Shambles passed. Um, uh, yeah. And does does a twenty? Does a thirty twenty hit? Mm. Yes, it does. Uh, the, uh, the zombie slams it, uh, slams his uh, fist into you for four points of damage. I'm knocking the, uh, no, a bit of the wind out of you. That was mean! And that ends its turn. Um... It releases some sort of, uh, and this, and this plant thing feels itself to be... It looks like a banana, but it looks like, you know, um... Yes. You know the the little horror shop, the uh, little horror shop. It's kind of like that, but uh, the, the banana, but banana themed. You get one of me. All right, mm -hmm. and it will, and it releases some sort of like a, a, whoosh, a musk that releases in all directions within thirty feet. Um, I. I will, uh, Tyrio, Nefine, I would like the both of you to make wisdom saving throws. And... Ooh, you... I get a fancy on those. That... 17. You may... Nefine gets a 16. Mm. You, you actually, you, uh, somehow you're able to, uh, to shake off uh, whatever, uh, whatever musk, uh, whatever is in the musk. And you're able Ugh. to ignore it. Thank you, banana! And that ends his turn. Bring it back to mine. Here we go. Uh, Alright, so... Are. You up. Are there any... Are there any zombies that are hurt? No. Hmm. Then I take out my... Uh, moon touch... Uh, greatsword. And slam it in a zombie right in front of me. That attacked Bo. Um, that's a 16 to hit. That's a hit. 2d6, 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 11 damage. Nice. You locked off one. Oh, uh, you locked off part of uh, part of his shoulders with your with your great sword. Uh, if uh, it, if you can't tell already, the zombie's not happy. If it is. Oh, I know. If it's not happy before. And as a bonus action, I'd like to bring my shield back up. What? As a bonus action, I'd like to switch between my great sword and its shield again. Go ahead. I'll I'll call that if you switch weapon. Well, switch, switch, switch weapons once will count as a free action for for the sake of convenience. I know, but uh, I have nothing to do with my bonus action, so I'm just gonna use it as a bonus action. Alrighty, uh, fair enough. Lemony will attack the uh, uh the the zombie that you attacked with her um. With another firebolt. 21! That's a hit. And the zombie takes 7 points of damage as the firebolt lands, um, uh, 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 la uh as the firebolt uh, la uh, lands on it. Uh, leaving behind scorch mark as it burns away its armor and a uh, part of its armor and flesh. Nefin, you're up. Ew! He looks I... scary now! Swing in with the halberd. That dirty twenty. That uh, who are you attacking? The one that um, Clemity and uh, Tyrell hit. Sure. Okay, that's it. Eleven damage. Okay. Uh, you you might still have lopped off part of its neck, but uh, like lopped off like uh, most of its neck, but. It, but still, uh, but its head still dangling just by the thread. To, uh, uh, fictively speaking, of course. And then the butt of the polearm smack. What? Uh, another twenty to hit. That hits. And eight damage. Alrighty, uh, you cave it. Uh, uh, you cave its face. Uh, its, it's face in and it crumples to the ground. Oh, nice job, Nappy Nappy. Let that be your turn. No, thanks. I. Uh, Bo steps back and aims at the uh, courier, noticing that it's causing some sort of problem, and attacks. 
It's yes, of course. And how much does a bow? Uh, okay, so let me check uh, to see. How Is much it a long bow? Because then it does one d eight. If it's a short bow, it does one d six. Uh huh. I never realized how ridiculous Polar Master was. It is looking ridiculous and amazing at the same time. Yeah, so D8 plus the six series, so for seven points of damage, as the bow, as the arrow lands on the plant and it hisses. Ooh, angry plant. Um, it's going to try again with its musk, uh, with its banana musk thing. Like, it, it has a strange sense of, of banana. Uh, I would like, um, the two of you to make uh, another wisdom saving throw. Don't forget your actual Yay! points. Yay! Mm, 15. That's 30, 20. No, 21. It may smell, it may smell bananas, but... But you're not gonna go bananas. Not this day. It's your stinky banana! Uh, one of one my zombies will try to attack um, you, Nefine. That's a 21. That hits. Alright. And it hits you for... Uh, five, po five points of damage as it slams into you. Oh. Whoa there! That ends his turn. Um, Tyrell, you up? Oh, uh, did it enter my range? Yes. I'd like to Stop. use my reaction opportunity attack. Go ahead. Chop, chop. Uh, twenty to hit. That's the hit. Oh, fuck! Why do I keep rolling fourteens? <laughs> it's a weird coincidence, I know. Uh, eight damage. You lost a part of its hand as, as after it slaps on you. Alright. And I keep it getting I run the initiative order mixed up. Even if it's just the two of you. Now well. <laughs> to be fair, I'm taking a lot of actions outside my turn. <laughs> so Yeah, it could be a little confusing. That's a good point. So Tyrell. It, 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 that's how I pronounce the name. Uh, Tyrell. Yeah, believe, Tyrell. It, yeah, um it's her turn now. Alright, so Tyrell runs up with great sword back in hand and just runs it through the zombie. Go ahead and make an attack. Natural twenty. <laughs> but this is great. It's a great sword as well. All right. So, uh, what's the damage? Uh, sixteen plus three. So that's nineteen damage. You manage to uh, you cleave into into that zombie's uh, uh, chest, a uh, torso, and you manage to cleave it through most of the way. Organs, uh, its organs and bones just like dangling out. For 19 points oh, of damage. Oh, nasty, nasty. Uh, That would be my turn. I now have an armor of 16. Because I'm not wielding my shield. Alrighty. Unless they attack me from the back. Alrighty, so... Let me uh, come in at the side like... Eh. Must be hot. Uh, uh, it's hot. It's high noon. Oh God. What? And hits with the thirteen. I know. I played Overwatch too. Sue me. It's high noon. For three points of damage. Uh, cooking more of its um, or more of its right body. It feels quite nasty too. Ugh. Ephine, you up? Keep this not a nice barbecue. It's my turn again already? Yeah. Yeah, we killed two of the zombies. The only one left is the one last in initiative order. Well then, I'm gonna go up to that one and boop it. It's still right in front of you, just with a giant glowing greatsword through it. Alright. Uh, 15 to hit? That hits. You pretty much killed it. You pretty much killed it as you finish, as you finish cleaning through it. And All it's right. two half, uh, and it's two halves like just like falls onto the ground, dead and stinky. Yeah. You still have that. You still have that little plant thing to worry about. By the way, just saying. Mhm. Mm 
Oh, it's Bo's turn now, so he can deal with it. Yeah, he fires again. Hits! For... Five points of damage. Uh, five points... Another arrow. Another arrow. Another hiss. Hmm. Uh, the banana is nasty. Uh, the banana mask will try, will try to hit you... Will try to hit you, uh... Tyrell. Tyrell. For... Tyrell. Tyrell, sorry. Uh, for... It's a 15 hit. Nope. You notice how Not the, a, you notice that the that the strange it bounces sixteen. You, you notice that fifteen the doesn't hit. Yeah, you notice that the flying uh, like uh like you know like uh, merges up and then twice to uh, twice to like um swings at you. Are you duck in time? Keep a banana and I opportunity attack slash it. You can make it an top opportunity attack. Uh, I assume it's gonna leave my range again. No, no, you just retract back. Um. Hey, if you're standing, are you standing within five feet of it? Uh, I was at the zombies, so the plan had. No, it swings at nothing. It swings at nothing. It swings at nothing. Ah, okay. It, My range is five feet, though. Alrighty, so. It's your turn now. Alright, <laughs> I cleave it. Okay, make an attack. Uh, actually, you, actually, unless you roll to one, you pretty much hit. Actually, unless you roll to one, you pretty much hit. It's guaranteed hit. Uh, good. I'm not kidding. Hit, so, uh, eleven points of damage. Yeah. You, you, I you, just you, drop it. You, you, you chop. Uh, you chop parts of plants and it, and it wails in pain. That be your turn. Yeah. Get up, stupid banana! <laughs> uh, Calamity chains, uh, uh, uh scoffs, and, um, uh, uh, flicks a wand, and fire- I cast fireball at it. Again? Yeah. Hits. Of course. Ten points- ten points of fire damage as the, uh, as- as the, uh, as- as the- as the plant begins to burst into flame. It's creatures. Fiend, it's your turn now. Chop it off. I'm gonna rush in the head. Give it a mighty slash with my halberd from 10 feet away. Alrighty, make an attack. Just in case you, uh, just in case you, oh, you will roll a 1. Because what are the odds? I'm at 23 to hit, 11 damage. Alrighty, you, you chopped off, uh, you chopped, you start to chop it down with your halberd. Alright. And we that's it for me. Chopping on it. Alrighty, it's going to make its last musk. Still, still, still smells of banana, but roast of bananas. I'm going. Uh, I'm going to roll uh, wisdom save for Calamity. No, no, Calamity's not going to make a wisdom save. I would like each of you, the both of you, to make another wisdom saving throw. Fourteen. All right. Uh, that was a Constitution roll. Yeah. Advantage with them. Uh, twenty. Thirty. It's still not going bananas, so you're still a stupid thinking banana. <laughs> Look, it's your turn now. All right, and I chop that hit again. I'm really pissed off at the banana for spilling in my face. Alrighty, <laughs> make your Next attack. Next roll twenty. Okay, <laughs> roll your damage. Uh, five, four, four, six. So that's nine. Oh wait, uh, I rolled critical, so it rolled four dice. Should I take the average, which is two times nine? You pretty much killed it. You you, you chop it down, right, and as it like, it's out a uh, it's uh, last twenty-one whale, damage. It goes limp as you chop it down. Twenty-one damage, and I just he's on chopping. With a giant ass sword in my hands. I'm way stronger than I look. Alrighty. You fiercely just like chop it down into pieces. <sighs> Ugh, banana, we can eat okay. I'm not yeah, sure, sure that banana. I shouldn't eat it. It's trying to kill us. Sorry, Gary. 
However, it's not yet done. The far electric well is denser here, and the air is harder to breathe. Somewhere along the path, you have lost your way. The trunk of con uh, 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 Konopi is thick here, choking out the sunlight and making everything difficult to see. All around are not a hanging vines that cl uh, cloak the skin and hinder progress. No. Not only vines. Webs! You are stumbled to a thick uh, nest of webs, and the way behind you is suddenly obscured by a large silhouette. A large, clucking and faints, give away the much, much large spider, just before the gleam of, uh, of its eyes. Oh, would you like to take a look? Spider! 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 Alright. Would you like to take a rest before uh, before this uh, this eventual encounter, or would you take the risk? Um, I think we say go running. I don't like spiders. Ready? Run! The spider world is not an initiative. As for calamity and bow. Uh, Climbing World is 7 and Bull Road a. Uh, 8. An 8. Uh, Nephany, as Tantage. Oh, yes, thanks. It. <laughs> uh, I rolled God a. Damn. Fuck, uh, 21 total. Damn! I got a mm -hmm. 6 for my good roll. Ooh. <laughs> This was double my original. <laughs> so who rolled what? DM. So who rolled one? I know what rolled one. No, who rolled what? Okay, so banana spider rolled. Uh, the, the spider rolled a nine total. Bow rolled a nine. I'm gonna roll again for bow. And he got a 14. Let me Who rolled a 9? Oh, a 9 for the spider. Bow, 14. Let me 7. Nephidim, 6. And 3L, 21. Sorry for the miscommunication. Alright. And 7 for Calamity. There you go. This should be the list. If I remember correctly, uh, I said Bug fourteen for bow. Spider. I said fourteen for bow. Yeah, no, that was supposed to be bow. Thank you. <laughs> All right, Cereal. Sorry. You go first again. Again. All right. Uh, I uh try to. Uh, is it a really big spider? Um, uh, give me a second. It is fairly large. About, about would you say course. it has? Would you say it has more than forty hit points? It, it, it's like it's like hanging hanging upside down in like uh, on a tree or something. Yeah, would it have more than forty hit points? Is what I'm wondering. Um, it doesn't look tough, but it seems quite. Uh, it, seems, it looks like it's a little. It'll be a little hard to hit. Hmm. Um, I'll cast guiding bolt. Okay. Go to your attack. 24. That hits. Okay, 46. Let's go. Um, 8, 14, 16. 16, 16 radiant damage, and the next attack has advantage. Uh, it's uh, fire right on, uh, fire it's glittering with blue sparkling light. Yeah. Not only is it bleeding profusely, but it also like uh, spews out sparkling, blue sparkling, sparkling uh, lights. Mm-hmm. Would that be your That's turn? a single spell, by the way. Yeah. Damn. Bo, uh, Bo, uh, looks That's up. a level one spell. Uh, uh, Bo looks up, aims, and fires with his bow, and he gets a tough advantage thanks to um, your spell. I fucking hate spider in real life and his character. Well, he succeeded on, on on the attack, so let's see how much he does. Eight points of damage. Yeah, nice. it's it's not looking too good there. Fucking hate spider. Kill it. Alrighty. 
Uh, Calamity looks up as well and casts Firebolt. Also hits. And the spider goes out, uh, goes out a heaping a, a pile of fire. It, it, like, it dies. It screeches as, like, it bends its legs up as, as far as uh, what to do. And, as t and touching the, the webs, the webs burst into flames. I put uh, Calamity really tight and give him a kiss on the nose. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Uh, yeah, uh, maybe we should get going with the fire. Oh, yeah, good idea. Let's run! Before, uh, and before you run, you notice a, a glowing blue dagger that just landed right by you. At, only from, uh, only from a uh, from a skeleton that was clinging to it from you know the, from the webs. I pick it up. Is it? Is a moon touch dagger? <clears throat> Aww. Does anybody want a glowing dagger like I already have my sword? I could use a dagger. All right. And I uh, whisper something in query on it, and it seems to shine even brighter as I give it to you. A mighty uh, dagger. Thank you, mighty kindly. No problem, Nappy Nappy. And by the way, oh, earlier, we met. yeah, earlier with the hop, uh, earlier with the with the hobgoblins, uh, you may you, you happen to find a uh, uh, t uh, small pouch with four semi precious figurines inside. The tokens are a jet cro crocodile, emerald elephant. A, chain, a monkey and an ivory rhinoceros. They're, they're worth about ten of gold each. It's only up to about forty. Yeah, uh, put it in the chat, I guess. Yeah, so I'm uh, treasure, I will put out treasure that's worth twenty gold each. Uh, treasure, treasure worth total. Um, I'm totally then... not wearing chainmail, by the way. I'm totally not making a lot of noise. No, uh, you're not. Uh, I totally am wearing chainmail and making a fuck ton of noise. <laughs> and before you move on, would you like to take a rest? One rest uh, we'd like to get out of the fiery webs first, and then we'd like to take yeah, a rest. You got, you got out fiery web. As, All right, as let's take a short rest. Uh, let's take a short rest. <laughs> Okay. All right. With the so, twirl, and plant my halberd and set the ruined I, banner of my regiment on it. Yeah. Bow, sit bow, down. Uh, bow with take you. A Patch yourself up for one, two hit points. I'm back to full health. I guess I'm up to nineteen then. Uh, I'm back to twenty HP. <sighs> You take a moment to breathe, and are you ready to move on? Mm. Yeah. So, I'm a bit yucky about the bananas here. I don't think I want to take those home. Uh, by the way, what are your passive perception? Fifteen. Eleven. And I'm always alert. Oh, thirteen. Because I'm a twilight cleric. You know something large with white fur? That keeps him moving in the trees as he pro uh, progress. Ooh, snow tiger! And I point snow it out. Tiger. And I start pointing it out to uh, Nephony. That's the, 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 just like Claire said. What? A, uh, what? A, oh, what a tiger swinging through the ooh, through the trees like that? Really? I don't know if anything that lives in a jungle would be appropriately called a snow anything. I mean, it's the only thing I've ever heard of that's white and walks through trees. Is it within 20 feet of us? No, it's like a bit, bit of a ways away, but you just like glance at like a, like a flash of light. Hmm. I think we should keep an eye on it. No, I tried to keep an eye on it. Alright, uh, I would like the, each of you to make a survival check. Wisdom. Oh, survival. Me. Thirteen. Oof. Uh, oh, let me roll a Thirty four. twenty. Seventeen for Bo. Dirty twenty for Tyrell. And uh, 
Nephin, uh, Nephinine? Thirteen. Alrighty. That's fantastic! Alrighty, so you managed to move into the, uh, deeper into the island with no problem at all. Woo! Woo! The jungle continues to grow more humid and ever louder as the day progresses. Soon, the noise is almost unbearable as you stumble upon a massive fruit tree. Taller than others nearby, this tree is heavy with ripe, blowing blown bananas, and absolutely infested with monkeys who are surrounding the tree with uh, with with views. Ooh, 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 monkey! Past the, tree, past the tree seems to be the clearest way forward, but the tree uh, dominions do not seem keen to receive visitors. Hmm. Should we say hello to the monkey? Uh, and, and and the monkey starts to throw a uh, right uh, fruit at you. Uh, uh, I was talking to Nevany, not anything loud enough to alert the monkey. I mean, maybe they just heard my massive clink and chain mail. I mean, same. <laughs> uh, if any monkey is within 20 feet, I'd like to mentally connect with them. Go ahead. Uh, we, we'll speak in a shared language, even if we don't understand each other. Yeah, uh, and I, and I asked them, can we pass? We are friendly. Uh, make a persuasion check with disadvantage, because they are not happy to see you. No joke. 16 and a 19. Okay. So, 16 plus... 6 is 22 total. Okay, the monkey seems to like, uh, seems to <laughs> stare at you confusingly, each, uh, each of them like, at the same time, just like tilt their heads in confusion. They seem to like, just like stop what they're doing, stop like yelling and stuff. It just stared at you. We, we saw banana plants, they're on that side of the island. Maybe you can look at that. They were really cool. And I point in the direction away from us. And away from the place where we want to go. The, uh, the monkeys all just like, um... Woo, 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 woo. <laughs> and basically does that, and a lot of them leave. All right. I think we can pass now. Bye, monkeys. Enjoy the bananas. And the hooks and the house of the remaining monkeys start walking. Off. Yeah. The hooks and the uh, and the house of the remaining monkeys carry off deep into the jungle. There are items strewn about the tree, discarded keepsakes collected by the monkeys. In addition to the bowels and castoffs from previous explorers, the fruits of this particular tree glow with glimmering magic. Would you like to take a look? Huh? Sure, but if the mon one of the monkeys is still in range, I ask them if we can look at it. You see none of the uh, monkeys uh, remain. Alright, then I'll take a look at it. They're not here. Okay, four. You see a stuffed kangaroo, and it's covered in scribbles of two words over and over. Ooh, the con. Would you also like to, uh, to take a banana? Sure. Alrighty, you take the, uh, the banana. It looks tasty. Adding a banana to my equipment. It, it is the equivalent of a uh, good berry. So if you... Uh, that would be nice. Yeah, so nice. good berry. I'm gonna tell you upright, it, it will do 2d6 plus 1 healing. Uh, 2d6 plus 1. Fuck, where do I find it? Um, just put in equipment. Yeah. Well, I'm trying well, to find it. Just at the uh, um, bananas. I do not eat bananas. What, like in a uh, TND Beyond? Sure. Uh, I'm trying to find uh, Goodberryan. Uh, Goodberry's a spell. Beyond. Yeah. So it's not going to be in the equipment stuff. You'll have to make it up. Good banana. And description. 2d6 plus how much? One. For one banana. Plus, plus one healing. How many do we have? Just one. Nefini, would you also like to take a look at the banana? I don't trust the bananas here. I, I want to inspect it. 
to see what type of magic it is, because I'm proficient with Arcana. Yeah, you, you can tell that this has some neat healing properties. Even tasting it, like just a bit, a bit out of it, seems to re re rejuvenate you a little bit. Ooh! This is good! I'm so pretty good! Alright. Do we find anything else? You find that wouldn't be obviously stolen. You find also find an, an expedition journal from four explorers. Also, the pages with the names have been torn away, and the title reads, "No, torn away," and the title reads, "Meaning of Medicine Zone, Putting the Breath and Death of the." That's all. It, uh, that's all. Uh, that's all she wrote. Hmm. I think we should keep going. I'm not sure if there were bananas. And Tyrell starts making a beeline towards where they were gonna go. Okay, do you follow? Sure. Alrighty. You find a footpath and seems to take you to the heart of the island. Here, at the hung uh, jungle's heart, is a well tread attended grove of beautiful banana trees. The grove is orderly as though. Oh, wait a second. Um, okay, never mind. Okay, we we're, we're gonna switch fight with the monkeys. I love skipping fights with monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Here, at the heart's chunk, uh, a jungle's heart is a well tended grove of beautiful banana trees. The grove is orderly as though the plants have been finely cultivated, but there does not appear to be any signs of recent gardening. Ancient rituals keep uh, the trees at the uh, grove growing in, growing in line. A small two-story keep rests in the center of the grove. Stone walls are covered in vines and ivy. And the second floor has collapsed, collapsed, but the foundations were remarkably sound. This is Musa's grove, and the fabled resting place of M Musa's appealing horn. A, a, a large cir circular door bars the entrance to the keep. If the horn is anywhere, it should be within. So, uh, what were we supposed to find again? Well, I'm looking at all the bananas and trying to read one, but I'm way too short for it. Like I said, this is a silly module. Alright, this I seems said, like the kind Tyrell, of place that would have a crap. I mean, that's true. Well, can you do something about that? What do you say? Bo, can you do something about the traps? Uh, Bo approaches. Though, uh, though Ivy uh, covers most of the building, the door seems strangely absent of plant life. There are no windows to the keep. Bob and Sigils are chiseled into the door's edge. It, it, and even after a millennia, they glow faintly. Hmm. I check for anything magical. Roll intelligence investigation check. Intelligence and in investigation or intelligence arcana? Investigation. Damn it. That's <laughs> one point left. That's still 21 though. You know that the essentials are weapons of some ancient spell. Do you speak goblin? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. no. I speak five languages common, dwarfish, elfish, giant, and query. But not goblin. God damn it, Huntress, why aren't you here when we need you? Is Goblin at all, like, gnomish? Good question, I'm gonna check it out. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna I don't guess believe that Goblin has no, a no, no, written it's language. It's a script. Good, uh, good question, though. I don't believe Goblin has a written script, or it was Orcus that didn't. Yeah. Uh, uh, upon, uh, upon a closer inspection, you notice that the, uh, uh, that the, uh, runes read like a song, and song, uh, is how it must be opened. Uh, Tyrell starts humming, trying to find the right pitch. Well, Chris, my proposal. <laughs> what do I have to roll? Performance check. Where's my... Ooh, performance, performance. Plus four! Natural one! Really? 
Yep. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, out of the mm. bushes. I can't least... find it. Uh, Pyro keeps getting out of, distracted out, by out the out banana. Out of the bushes screen a large ape-like creature. The beast that covered scars Woo! wounds from a long life of conflict and rage. Even a missing limb. Three powerful arms beat its chest and challenge, and it releases a mighty roar which is asked by the calls of monkeys throughout the jungle. And from within the keep, charge forward. The three armed gorilla se uh, seems very determined to take down anyone who dares to trespass on its domain. You are surprised, by the way, because you messed up on the on the uh, uh, performance check. All right. Yeah. Uh, Nephni does get advantage again, though, because of my uh, ability to give people advantage. Sure. When the combat starts. Eighteen. Uh, I rolled an 18 for 21. Uh, okay, so give me a second, so... 18... Nefani. I love that name, by the way, because I know somebody called Nef. Nice. <laughs> That's an amazing thing. Alrighty, so... I rolled an 8. As for bow, uh, the, uh, the <laughs> ape the creature rolled an eight. Calamity rolled a four, and bow rolled an eighteen. What? What about the rest of you? I rolled an eighteen. Uh, Twenty-one. Eight. Uh, so eighteen. So I'm gonna roll again for uh, for bow. He rolled a fourteen. Yeah. Fuck you, bow. Um, what do you want for your for your initiative? For your second round initiative? Five, I really think you should do seven. it with the who just has the higher stack goes first. Um, Bo has 14 it's dexterity. Too friendly. I also have 14 yep. dexterity. Then it's the dexterity roll, whoever rolls higher in dexterity. 15. 4. <laughs> Bo goes first. Alrighty, um, That's usually how I de how I determine which enemy or friendly goes first. Tyrael, um, what do you will for initiative? Uh, I rolled 21. You go first again. Yeah, I, I'm getting really lucky on these rolls, not gonna lie. I think I rolled out the bad things. Alright, so I see a giant monkey and instead of trying to attack it. I tried to speak with it mentally. Um... Uh, we're friendly! We're not here to steal! It wars. Uh, it wars, and since you're surprised, it can we'll understand first. me. It can understand me, so... Does it do anything? Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't do anything. It just roars and attacks you because, um... It doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> because you are surprised. It goes first. Remember? Yeah. He starts, then we go. Alright, it's going to... Fuck, it's going to attack you four times. Who? The gorilla thing. It's going to attack you four times. Uh, who is the gorilla attacking? You! Oh, okay. Yeah, and... Does the 21 hit. 21 hits. Man, I really wish I had some sort of feed that lets me just... Mr. President into the way. Nine I mean, points I wanna be of damage. Nine points okay, of damage. Okay, so that's nine. Nine points of damage as it like, like claws a claws at you. Going to well I'm again. the only healer, by the way. Six points, uh, okay, six. That's a miss. 21. Hits again. That hits again. For seven points of damage. Ow. You're I'm hit. really low. And it's going to attack you, Nephany. It leaps out to you and and hits you All right. for seven points of damage. You have twelve hit points now, I believe. Yep. And that ends his turn. Now, uh, 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 now you go first, Ty Tyrell. All right, I uh, cast pure wounds on myself. You have a you have a, a banana. I suggest you use it. Uh. 
Cure wounds is easier. The banana heals you more. Uh, I heal for 11. Okay. Alright, you feel you- you and, and whip my shield in front of me, I hide behind Nephany. That ends a turn? That's my turn. I can't do anything else. I don't have any bonus actions. Alright. Bo looks a little surprised, but aims up of cards quickly, aims and fires at the- at the, um... At White Donkey Kong. Three armed Donkey Kong, I don't know. And hits! Or Eight points of damage as an arrow lands on lands on his shoulder. It, 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 lots of level pain, but uh, keeps on moving. Nephany. All right. Uh, All right. Well, gonna do in a time-honored fashion of all fighters. Whack it. <laughs> Don't forget, you have a. Uh... Extra attack, I believe, from uh, second win. Uh, so second win. Really yeah. uh, Fifteen to hit. No, misses barely. Darn. Well, opportunity attack. Boop it with my other side of my stick. Does sixteen hit? Yes, barely. All right. Although, uh, although you you miss uh, you lunge and miss at the gorilla, uh, you make a quick recovery and you uh, move your uh, the panel of your uh, of your arm um, of your pole arm, whack it in the face yep. somehow. I mean that's what pole arm master does. Boop him with the other side. <laughs> when you Five make damage. It, boop. What? Five damage. All right, whack in the face and you start to see his nose bleed. And uh. Given that uh, this thing's actually pretty scary, I'm gonna use my uh, action surge. Ooh, that one. And attack again. Okay, make another attack. Uh, 20 to hit? That's a hit. Uh, 11 damage. Alrighty, you, you managed to like um, embed the blade of your pole arm into uh, into uh, the uh, um, gorilla, which roars out, uh, which roars in pain. Uh, and but I don't get another bonus action. The what? She hits it for eleven points of damage. Ah, yeah. You know what? Would that be your turn? I know what I'm gonna do yeah. for my next action. Um, uh, the gorilla will try to attack you. Um, flaps his claws at you, misses. Does an 18 hit? An 18 does. I I'm assuming me. Yeah, yeah. And for All seven, right. for, for seven points of damage, as it swipes his claws at you. All yeah. right. You're at five hit points, I presume. Correct. And it will try to uh, bite down on you. For bring it. Misses barely. As 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 I try as I try to bite uh, bite down on you, you 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 lift your polar arm up and it only bites out on your um polar arm's dead. Er, er, uh, and, and you yank it out of out of its um. Ball. All right. A oh, Clavity Jones is going to try to cast Chromatic Orb. Ooh, that's a nice one. Hit it. Hit it hard. Eh. Yep, and she is that, uh, and it's a spell attack, so she's going to pull up a diamond, mutters herself with a, with a wand, and cast chromatic ore at it, this time acid. Please hit, please hit, please hit. Ah, uh, yeah, it hits. Barely. Barely hits. Woo! Oh, yeah, let me get out the dice. Uh, four, four, six, 13 points of damage as the as the orb like splashes onto uh, onto the uh, gorilla, and it's like the uh, first away at at bits of its fur. 
And that ends, All right. her, and that ends her turn. All right. So it's my turn again, right? Yes. I touched a holy symbol that I drew about my uh, friend Kiri, which is a little black bird that is encrusted in my chainmail. I wham it, and in a 30 foot radius, dim light is spread out. It's bluish electrical light, and everybody gets 1d8 uh, temporary hit points. Okay, for all. For, uh, they get eight hit points. Eight temporary hit points. Woo! Nice. So, first go to, uh, temporary hit points, then go to the actual hit points. And, I believe, the channel divinity is an action. Right? Yes. Alright, then, that's my turn. Uh, I tried to get in front of, um, uh, Nephany, so that he will hit me again, instead of Nephany, since Nephany is pretty hurt. Yeah, Bo, oh, Bo aims, uh, aims to shoot with his bow and fires. Misses, unfortunately, as, as the arrow whips past uh, uh, the, uh, the giant gorilla. Nephany, I Come on, Bo, shoot better with the bow. He only... Is a fast creature. He's standing still. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Nephany, I believe you're up. All right, I'm gonna use my bonus action to use second wind, which heals me one d10 plus two. One d10. Oh yeah. So six health. Nice. That's nice. Oh, you take a you take a deep breath, and you ready yourself. And then, uh, you know, stabbing from over the shoulder, I hit it with my halberd. Alrighty, make your attack. I'm a living shield in front of you with a shield in my hands. Uh, right. that's a critical hit. Nice. Bam. For eleven damage. Alrighty, um. You, you piece it right through, you piece it right through its its chest and it, and it screams out of pain. Oh, it oh, echoes and suddenly, um, uh, a, a sort of monk has come out of the uh, come out of the temple, ready to uh, to uh, to aid it. The monkeys that were on the other side of the island. This is a this is the different swarm. Hmm. Usually, oh, yeah. an, an island is only inhabited by one swarm, but okay. That's just my animal knowledge. Look, they're currently in the middle of a monkey civil war. Much like the last war, the island has been divided into a bunch of monkey factions. <laughs> and we're in the middle of oh, killing fuck. the only one that was about to reunite them. I mean, to be honest, this is the fire nation we're fighting. And all the others are just friendly, we don't want to die to him type of friends. Are you sure we're not the Fire Nation? We're the one that came to the island. <laughs> I pointed them to bananas! <laughs> that's what the Fire Nation would do. <laughs> no, that's what an airbender would do. Alright, the Gorilla will try to attack uh, uh, Tyrael since, uh, uh, since they're in front of their... They're in front of this. Yeah, can I use my shield as cover so I'm like in half cover? No, it's just a shield. Damn it. Misses. 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 And tries to bite uh, tries to bite down on your shoulder and hits. For For how much? Nine points of damage. What was the roll? Yes. Nine points of damage. What was the roll? <laughs> no, what was the roll to hit? Twenty-two. Okay, yeah, that hit. I want to know the roll when you say it hits. Yeah. Do All right. You also have hit Is that too hard? Is, do you also have temporary hit points? Yeah. Everybody around me in thirty feet has them. Now, Everybody it bites friendly down, to me. You say a surge of pain throughout your body, but but uh, but, uh, but the field. Uh, uh, it's but the field a fucking the field. monkey, and I punch it to the face with my shield and push it off of me, and I only take yeah. one hit point. Yeah, it claws out of you. Uh, 
close to you, Krells, and let's just bite down on your shield, just for good measure. It gotta hurt, but it's oh, you big monkey. But uh, but the pain seems to be uh, dulled uh, by uh, b by the divine field that you set forth. Yep, yep. The monkeys came charging in and bites down and uh, and bites down on calamity. Misses. Uh, misses as the clown just like dogs and sidesteps every, uh, uh, every side of the way. Calamity just like uh, just like eh, fuck it, and casts um uh, and casts uh, another fire bolt. Misses, it misses as the, as the monkeys just like just hop out of the way, and the fire bolt just like lands on the on the spot nearby. Hmm. Cereal. It's your turn now. Alright. I'm angry at the monkey, and my shield starts glowing. Like it's a glow in the dark thing in the dark. And I shoot it with a guiding bolt. Love right in its fucking face. Okay. Make your attack. Critical. <laughs> the monkey explodes a little bit. <laughs> 4d6 becomes 4d6 doubled. That's all five. That's sounding pretty fire niche. Yeah, so... so... That's when? No, it's radiant. So that's 40 damage. 40 radiant damage. In his fucking face. Alright, what's the damage of this one? Because I'm pissed. Hmm? Hey, what's the damage? Uh, so what's the damage? 40 radiant damage. How do you want to do this? I want to, like, shoot the bolt right in his fucking face as I push the shield in his face, and then it exploding with bright blue light from the inside. Like, first his eyes start to glow blue and bolts of light, radiant light, start spreading through all his bodies and the missing limb. And he explodes. Not only that, it, its head explodes into giblets. And, it, and, it, and its mind is literally blown. It is, it's, and it's just like some, and it's just like tumbles, whams to the ground. Dead. And I'd like to take advantage of the advantage to hit. <laughs> and the monkeys all flee. But seeing that its leader is now. Dead. It is deceased. It's Moto Coil. Go get the fucking bananas, not us. Yeah, this is the power of a cleric that's pissed off. Like, oh, yeah. full on. And the max damage would have been. Uh, fuck, what was it? 24? So I had nearly max damage on that. That was fucking amazing. So, do you want to try again with the song? Yeah, I would. Roll another charisma performance check. Roll. Uh, can I assist? Go ahead. Uh, I rolled a 22. Imagine, you might actually try to sing what you think is the, uh, are the goblin lyrics, and the door opens. <laughs> Alright, what do we find inside? I have... Permanent, endless, dim light, night vision. Go torches or magical lights illuminate the small keep. Go sunlight pours into right. the cracks in the ceiling where the second story uh, once stood. Basking in the entire chamber uh, in, in dim light. Uh, uh, dim, uh, d uh, dim light. Four potted banana trees blind the walls, kept alive by the power of the twilight forest. A stone stairwell once connected to the upper North the floors, but now the stairs only descend to one level below. Maybe we should get some of those bananas first. They look like these. And I hold up the good berry banana and give it to Nephany. And that is a uh, banana with uh, 2d6 plus 1 healing. So you can eat that if you wanna. 
Nathany. Yeah. You, you now have a two yeah. I'll wait later. Six. Right. Because I'm a sea of the other bananas. Uh, How long does the temporary hit point last? Uh, for an hour. I okay. think. Um. If you oh no. Uh, if you want to take for one minute. If you, like, if, if you want to take a look around, I would like you to roll uh, an investigation check. Alright, sure. Alright. I first want to get, grab some of those bananas outside. Alright, so what you I rolled a 60. I got 15. You can tell that the presence of the... You can tell that there are, like, there are, like, pressure plates, um... But there's, like, a pressure plate in front of you. Like, right in, right in right. front of you. You can tell by how... This color looks compared to the other flagstones. All right, so it's, it's, it's um, I have an ink bottle and I throw it on the pressure plate looks while like I, uh, while we stand back. It doesn't seem to uh, doesn't seem to be uh, heavy enough to um uh to uh, to, pre to uh, press the plate down. Hmm. I'm gonna walk back outside and, like, grab a hurdle of banana. How... how heavy are the bananas? I don't know, how heavy are the bananas? It's like, it's like you grab, like, a bundle of eight bananas. It's... you can easily lift it up. It, seems to be, it still seems to be light enough for the, for the trap ahead. Hmm. I go back out and grab more. Okay. I don't care if I lift her to ground with banana. You're pretty sure that it, it's that it's heavy enough for the trap to trigger to trigger the trap. Apparently, a bunch of bananas can weigh between sixty six and a hundred and ten pounds. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Depending upon how many tiers of bananas it has. Okay. You hop through and you drop the. Uh, Tyrell is only ninety eight or uh, ninety seven pounds. You place the bananas and you book it. I would like you to, um... No, I throw them on it. <laughs> I'm not gonna get near the pressure blade, I just throw it. Uh, I help toss it. <laughs> With my good strength. <laughs> By the way, the, the bananas you were carrying are rotten. Huh. So bananas die on the pressure plate. By the way, the, the bananas that you, they gathered are rotten. That's one way oh, no, to I was able to trap. Fucking one... True. Though what happens when the pressure plates activate? Alrighty, so, um... You step on the plate? Uh, I will, I'm going to, uh, make a... No, we're not stepping on the plate. We throw the bananas on there so that we don't have to get near it. Yeah. More bananas just, like, whip out of, uh, whip out of the pl uh, plants. Tearing, uh, tearing the, uh, uh, this bundle of bananas you just happen to gather nearby, just, like, into, into shreds. Hmm. That looks like scatter. Um... So, let's not step on the pressure plate. What the hell my, passive in my passive investigation is 13, by the way. Nice. Alrighty. So. You, you head overall. On? Are you ready to head down the stairs? Go. Uh, yeah, avoiding all pressure plates. Yeah. This small room is lit by a single source, a glowing horn, held aloft by a hog oven warrior and a, con a Connie li livery. In her other hand, she holds a, uh, a chain flail. The instrument resembles a peeling banana wrought from gold. The guard notices their approach, but continues to hold the horn high. A final guardian to Musa's ancient treasure. Uh, hi sir. Uh, can we borrow that? I would like you to make a Charisma History check. History with Charisma? What? History with Charisma? Yeah, uh, History is always charisma. an intelligence check. Uh, do you want me to roll too? Sure. Oh, well. Uh, 18? The fuck? 
Okay, I am proficient with history. So, the I know what I know. Plus four plus two is six is twenty five. It hesitates. Uh, 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 she appears to hesitate a little. Uh, do you understand Goblin? No. No, but is no bitch close enough? But I can mind no, with close them. close enough. <laughs> if I'm within I 20 feet of banana? them... Am I within 20 feet of them? You, you, it, yeah, it's, it, it is with, uh, within 20 feet of it. All right, then I'll mind link with them and say it again. It, uh, so they understand me. Okay, so what do you? Te uh, so, so yeah, so history, uh, so history, yeah. She hesitates and she uh, stand uh, and she uh, steps aside. Well, she she hesitates and just like hands you over the horn. Thank you, madam. You are. Uh, the I first don't know. Uh, I don't know when we'll return it, so I'm really sorry if it takes a little while. You are the first living creature to lay eyes upon Musa's appealing horde in generations. After exploring an island hidden from the world, after facing all the dangers the Joker has thrown at you, finding your way here to the treasure uh, alcove you discover is all bananas! Oh, I love bananas! Bananas are awesome! I'm not, I'm not kidding. I am clapping. not kidding. I, I am not kidding with this, with this. I am not kidding. Bananas are worth a lot of money, actually. Because there are only several places in the world where they can grow. So give me a second while I, uh, uh, who's us appealing born? Um, so give me a second. A wonder this is funny as hell, by the way. Just making I frustration think... check as a cleric is ridiculous. Oh my god. I only just realized why you guys um, kept bugging out about the name of the module. <laughs> I just like, oh, no, I don't give a shit. <laughs> you I don't care what it's bananas. called. <laughs> Banana. <laughs> this explains why everything's fucking banana. Yeah. The ball just like just like simply just like stirs in disbelief. We I came all the way here for bananas. I spent a lot of gold on it too. And, uh, indeed, uh, says Calamity. It's all fucking bad. This is when I start eating the good berry banana. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, banana. I told you we'd go get bananas on this island. I love bananas. Yeah. I'm gonna see just a little And again. I heal 11, so I'm back up to full. Nice. Oh, that's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> I know this. This uh, this module I... is ridiculous. No, no, I'm talking about the fact we set the monkeys away with just charisma, and now we get the horn with just charisma. Uh, I need to play clerics like this more. Because that mind link is coming in clutch when you don't yeah. understand that party. Why are you not a bard instead? Because why the fuck would I want to be a bard? I don't want to want to fuck anything. <laughs> uh, because with a cleric, you get to seduce God. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely true, but my no, God I, is I my own little friend in my God. head. I thought you were supposed to dethrone God. You know, like how the, how, like how they were, uh, like how Fox News claims. Oh, that's the warlock's job. Look, I'm basically a warlock. Because the thing that's talking in my head is also my deity. Well, exactly. Well, everyone uh, rel uh, runs on faith, uh, whatever you believe in, so... Yeah. Are you ready to leave you with your, with your prize possession? Sure. 
Sure. With, with the pro despite uh, Fialai's caution, it, be uh, it becomes apparent that you were followed to this, the sacred I island, a trio of veiled elves in Valinar trappings that from the shadows of nearby trees. The poster shows that they are itching for a challenge. A much clearer elf greets you at his proclamation. We have come to pass test our metal, and you outsiders will prove, uh, prove a worthy chance to do so. In ages, okay. in ages past, our ancestral lower house of Bruja had no equal in battle. We will honor her deeds, uh, deeds this day. Flee, and all will know your cowardice. Answer our challenge, and you may face an honorable defeat. And dance. Wait, wait. Why would we fight? Why not make friends? Why does everybody want to fight on this island? You did, did you because we're the Fire Nation. <laughs> everybody so hates us for no reason. I am, we were doing I am a nice, good tips. colonial. I'm a bender type Wait, of person. Uh, you misunderstand us. Fire you misunderstand us. We challenge you to dance off. Oh, we can do that. How many? We don't got a choice. You start pole dancing. I'll do the monkey dance. Calamity, drip dance. Bo, you don't participate. But he could do the Warforge. He could do, do the, the robot, robot, but I don't think that Bo says I can. Yes, in fact, I believe I could do the. Uh, uh, I can do the dance. And he does, and he does the robot dance. I I rolled a natural twenty performance for twenty four, and I start dancing like a monkey, juggling with bananas. And at some point, I just stand upside down, juggling with my feet. Uh, I got an eight. <laughs> Look, I'm you not. don't take the swear dancing out of the country. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you gotta film somewhere. Uh -uh. See, square dancing is just not impressive without your three brothers and sisters. I mean, how you could the kill people with your dancing. Uh, uh, I really their, their best generally efforts, having um, fun. You seem to want this round. But, uh, Ooh. But, yeah. Oh, uh, despite there are like one of the one of the graceful techniques of dancing, your uh, your dances, especially the monkey dance from uh, from uh, Treya and the squirt, but the squirt dancing and the robot dance don't do much. Still, you yeah, you guys just, just got served. <laughs> I would like you to make another. Uh, I would like you to make another check of your uh, performance. All right, performance it is. Uh oh. Oh wait, uh, is there another option? Make, uh, word or old? Are uh, there any calamity, other uh, options? Calamity, uh, steps in. I'll show how I do it. And she starts make, uh, she starts make dancing on, uh, 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 like, 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 just standing on her, on her, um, on her, uh, on I her rolled hands. a 19. I rolled a 19. <laughs> I got 21. Uh, she sends, uh, she sends one hand. See? I could do it. <laughs> See? Yo, what's Th this? Uh, Tyrell and I, uh, Tyrell and uh, Nephany are gonna do the tango in front of them. <laughs> right. So yeah, do we win this round? <laughs> uh, one of the elves performed a uh, dirty twenty. Yeah, w we have a twenty-one total. I, I rolled a natural twenty. <laughs> yeah. You show you show show them with that tank uh, with that uh tango. <laughs> yeah. Why did I learn to tango? You're just following my beat. <laughs> and you start and you're just naturally good at it. Apparently. Apparently it's just like wool. It's just like whoa. Well, we keep on dancing. We keep on touching. Indeed, dance, uh, dance to war. Who can tell the difference? He seems to be having a fun uh, uh, time with life. Although he's although uh, he is losing, it is still a fun one. Tyrell is just giggling all over the place. 
Like, if it were nighttime and nobody would see her, everybody would be freaked out. That type of giggle. Alright, so, round three. Alright, this is for all the marbles. Or bananas, I should say. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, she's going to. Uh, so Claudia is going to try doing sit, uh, like push-ups while while standing on her hands. Uh, the party twenty. She, uh, surprisingly, she she did a pretty good job. I got a fourteen. And she's and she did a bit of a flop. Yeah, uh, dirty twenty, and uh, I don't know any dance styles besides the free. Because I can't dance myself, but uh, 24. Uh, 24. one of the elves starts flow dancing 21. with them. And 18. Unfortunately, they win this one as they're as it's like just hop, uh, hop and dance like motion from tree to tree. And Tyrell yes. starts flow dancing with one of them. Unfortunately, they won this round. Oh, you should take the dancer. Got any tip for me? Sorry, fair is fair. We won this round. Next round. Alright, let's go! Uh, 22. 21. Alright, Nephony? Uh, 15. 16. Hi! Alright. Mm. Impressive. Mm. <laughs> um. Fuck, what are the uh, dance uh, cells, uh, Well, actually, so, as a matter of fact, because it's a uh, tournament, there's you, swing? Uh, you won! Um, congratulations! <laughs> he offers a Santa uh, shake. See, uh, Tyrell starts singing while she's, uh, she's dancing. It sounds absolutely ridiculous, but funny at the same time. It's like singing the equivalent of Happy Birthday on a funeral, but somehow it works. It's just absolutely ridiculous. He, he uh, uh, the elves uh, grant, uh, gave you uh, this glove of reef boots that's well uh, with evolutionary lost powder size one. These are some spares. You did well. Dude, thank you. I love them. Yeah, I'm sure they will. Uh, Tyro gives him a big hug. You're a good dancer too. Thank you. Also, sorry about the monkey. Mm. They seem really nice. Thank you. And thank you for participating in this contest for uh, with us. Very well. No problem at all. Yeah. Alright. Well, yeah. we'll return this Sunday. I'm sure of it. No, you you, you earned this, uh, these, uh, these boots. Oh no, I was talking about the horns. Oh. Anyway, uh, oh, so anyway, uh, the hot goblin is overjoyed at your success. She wasn't even sure that the uh, how they found, and with that, she you uh, she awards the uh, 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 uh the two uh the both uh, uh, all of you the additional uh, galifars, uh everyone's uh, turn for gold, and and she's like by the way, I do have a bit of a favor to call in with the catch fall art if you're interested, uh, if you're interested, but I'm sure you have other tasks to attend to, as you will return back to to the mainland. So, Alright. So you gain uh, uh, throughout the adventure you gain a total uh for for the both of you at twenty okay. Uh, uh, five hundred and seventy gold each. Sweet! Oh no, five hundred and seventy okay, five seventy okay. Okay, five fifty. And do we level up? I'll say so, yes, so two Okay, four. One, we five. beat a fucking monkey. That's why I asked. Uh, two. You gained about two hundred. You have earned about two hundred ninety-five gold each. Ooh, uh -huh. I can prepare a second level spell now. Indeed. Spiritual weapon. I can pick a banana. Yep. So, what archetype are you gonna pick? I was thinking champion. Field of. Fate, inflict wound. So, uh, how was it? 
was good. It was it fun? Was it funny? It was funny as hell. Yeah. yeah. Bananas. It, the horn is literally bananas. And then man, bananas. I was going bananas. And yeah, what did you think of the part for the elves? It was pretty funny. I was like, not another fucking fight. And then that's off. And hey, that was the better one. Not gonna lie. Ah, uh, uh, I need one, uh, two more spells. Which ones do I want? Bane and Bless. That sounds about right. Really enjoying just playing a simple fighter. That is. That is Without crazy. having to worry about blowing up everybody around me at all times. There are some uh, uh, fun stuff you can do with other subclasses, like the Echo Knight. The Echo Knight is fucking amazing. Echo Knight? Alright, I now have 29 hit points. Nice. I'll keep that in mind the next time we do a watch up with these fellas. Four first level spells casting and two second level. And with that, we bring this uh, adventure to a close. Oh, how was it? Right. it uh, was it fun? Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Safe that I rolled twenty three. Yeah, That's how do you roll so well with your uh with, with your rolls? What how do you roll, how do you do so well? I'm 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 surprised. I, I keep rolling in between just to get out the bad rolls. I don't I, I just roll just with a, the Beyond at this point. Just and I just keep getting what is rolling. fucking ridiculous. Yeah. I'll be right back. All right, we'll uh, all right. We'll be uh, closing this uh, stream and stuff. So, I would like to say uh, goodbye to everybody. Uh, say uh, to say have a good day, everybody. Yeah, have a good day. Yeah, like I said, quick, uh, quick short session. Not the uh, 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 something pretty fun. So yeah, I hope you all have fun. I hope we can do we can play again next week or soon. So, That'd be nice. Yeah. So. Go, uh, bye, bye, audience. So, sorry for being awkward. Never apologize for being awkward. Apologize for being impotent. <laughs> right, right. All right.